Okay. So I got a flashlight video for you. Uh, what I got going on is, uh, even though I replaced this flapper, it keeps leaking and it keeps going through the fill cycle. I wanted to show you something that you can do if this happens to you. You've replaced your flapper, even maybe you replaced it twice, and still running every once in a while. Every once in a while, flapper kicks on, and you hear that shh of the of the filling flapper. See the bubble there? The bubble just bubbled up. It's letting just a little bit of water uh, past it. What I've got is I've got some gloves here and I'm going to be adding some, this is a silicone o-ring lubricant. Uh, you can use Vaseline, petroleum jelly, or you can use a spa lube, works good for this. But it's an old trick. What we're going to do is just put some of that right around the seat of the flapper. Because for some reason we're not getting a, a perfect seat there. I'm going to do this perfect fairly quickly and put a good amount on there make sure that it's all coated here all around and we're just going to seat that back on I'm also going to feel for any ridges I'm actually looking right here and if you can see it there's like a little ridge there On the seat. So I'm going to take that off. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and shut the water off down below. Okay, the stock's not working too good, but it's going to get replaced anyway. But what I'm going to do is try to take that, take that edge off. In there. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take that little edge off there. Yeah, I definitely got a little ridge there. <laughs> anyway, the petroleum jelly or the other stuff will kind of fill in any irregularities there. Um, you could also take a little bit of sandpaper to the edge of this. I'm going to take my little file here and just kind of try to even that up. But uh, again, the petroleum jelly should fill in the rest. So I've got that on there and it's going to go ahead and plug this into place. Since I got the water turned off, I'm actually going to put a little of the lube on my glove here. And I'm going to go ahead and also wipe that around the seat, especially in that area that I just sanded down. Anyway, that should be the trick. I'll turn my water on, back on down below at the angle stop there. Got a remodel going anyway, so that angle stop's going to be replaced, and the floor is going to be replaced but anyway. That should fill it up and seal things off. Anyway, it's an old trick. If you get stuck, you might try that for a flapper that just won't seal. Again, you can try a little bit of sandpaper around the edge there, or, or uh, emery cloth to try to sand it out.
This is worth doing if you've got a toilet that's just running it intermittently. Of course, the other alternative is to replace the flush valve assembly. And there's also another solution is uh, to use a dual flush system to repair a situation like this because it's got this putty that it uses to seal and, and that can work in a situation like this. Anyway, I think we're all fixed there. It's uh, cut off the water, so over the next couple days I'll be working in here anyway. I can listen to it, keep an eye on it. Make sure.